Jared Wayne, Bartholomew not in the game here. Snap to Slovis. Georgia Tech rushes four. Slovis pumps, throws, and intercepted. Charlie Thomas at midfield. Intended for Carter Johnson, the tight end. 37, and this is 30 and change. Kick is away from Stewart, and it is good. Running game, too, made an impact in that one. He has been excellent. Already six tackles. Vincent Davis for the injured Israel Abana. Can down the ball, fumbled, but did he hit the ground first? Georgia Tech says they have it. They do at the 34 yard line. A dozen. That's Leonard in motion to the boundary, the tight end. Sims on a straight drop. Up in the pocket, flipping for the end zone, and EJ Jenkins. Touchdown, Georgia Tech. Going out of bounds, stops the clock. It does not do that until you're under two minutes. Sloating over 200 yards tonight. Got to cut it loose. Going to fire for the end zone. Caught. Touchdown, Pittsburgh and Jaden Bradley. Here is Sauls. And he's going to squib it and just kind of hang it up at the 35. And McCollum backed into it, kind of his own guy, and slipped down. And the two games tonight. First down, this is Hall, and he will step out at one, bang off another, and Hassan Hall now into the pit secondary. And Jeff Sims trying to help him out. Did Hall get to the house? No, ruled out of bounds at the 10. And here tonight in his debut, he's trying to upset Pitt. Sims. Trying to get to the near side, breaks away, steps out of another. Now going to race back across. Hallett and Sims will go down. Pat Narduzzi calls a timeout with 128 to play. Top of the coastal. Yeah. Here's the snap. Sims going to run to the boundary side at the left, turn the corner, and Jeff Sims get in the end zone. He did. Touchdown, Georgia Tech, with 125 to play. Wow, late night man. Yeah, it is. Thanks. Here's Slovis. He'll throw for the end zone, and coming back to make the catch is Jaden Bradley. Here's Sauls now. Just going to let it roll, and it went nine. Did it get touched? And it's recovered by Georgia Tech, and AC Lee's come up with it. And Jeff Sims is going to touch a knee. And Pat Narduzzi will not use the two timeouts. And Georgia Tech, with all the upheaval in the week, the dismissal of Jeff Collins as the coach and Todd Stansberry as the AD. Brent Key just asked those guys to stack days. And look what happened to him tonight. The most important thing for Brent Key to do was to focus his team on the task at hand that happens between the white lines. The 100 yards, 53 and a third, that's where he needed his team's focus to be, and it absolutely was there. Pitt handed him opportunities, didn't take advantage of their own opportunities, but nonetheless, this was a Georgia Tech team that had not been in close games. They finished today in a close game. It's a heck of a statement for Brent Key in his first time at the helm of Georgia Tech. It's a heck of a statement for this Georgia Tech football team who is so desperate for something good to happen.